For the past year and a half, three juniors in Granby High School's International Baccalaureate Program have been working on a special project that will be going up to space in a Blue Origin rocket. This amazing opportunity became a reality when their proposal won the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics Design Build Competition for high schoolers. Their experiment, an acoustic levitator, is scheduled to launch sometime this year. An acoustic levitator is pretty much a device that can levitate particles using sound waves. So it creates a standing wave by putting two identical waves uh, against each other, creating areas of high pressure called antinodes and low pressure called nodes. So you can levitate very light things in the nodes since it doesn't provide much force with sound waves. Down here we know it's going to happen. We know that it's the styrofoam ball is going to levitate. We know in space it's probably going to work the same way, but what we don't know is how it's going to levitate a metal ball. We know on Earth it doesn't really work, and we think on space it will work, but we want to see the extent to which it's successful. As they continue to meet online with representatives from Blue Origin and work to complete their experiment, these students, along with their mentors and teachers, are enjoying this incredible process every step of the way. It feels uh, very crazy, you know. Um, I'm a, I dream to be an aerospace engineer since I was a child. And when I was a child, I did not know that I would be able to um, work on something and send it to space. I always thought that. I would do that way later after I graduate from college and then get a job. And um, so this is just an uh, um, unbelievable experience. NPS students in grades 3 through 7 enjoyed a two-week green stem summer experience at Camp E.W. Young. This camp, which took place in a unique forest environment, enabled students to participate in a variety of STEM activities, including robotics and flying drones, outdoors. This morning we did drones and for drones we were doing tasks, tests, and competitions. I chose to come out to this camp because it's STEM and STEM is cool and I know like in STEM you get to learn a lot of things about science, math, and technology and it just, sent, it just seemed pretty cool. It's a great opportunity for our students to benefit from uh, teacher best practices. Um, we're able to take the instructional content outside and have students experience the objectives in a real world situation. Um, our students, they enjoy learning with the hands-on activities. Um, we challenge them to think critically and they are afforded various opportunities to work collaboratively with their classmates. I just love seeing the kids have a good time and um, we're kind of able to do out-of-the-box activities so I love that for our students and they learn a lot more that way. High school students taking advanced placement courses in the fall had the opportunity to attend the AP Summer Academy at the Academy for Discovery at Lakewood. The program, which lasted two weeks, allowed students to choose one of eight courses each week that were designed to give them a preview of their upcoming AP class. We've been doing a lot of hands-on labs, a lot of um, vocabulary introduction, and just giving them a foundation so that if they decide to take the AP Biology course, they'll be prepared. Today we're doing dissections. Uh, we started small with the earthworm, and then we moved up to the sea star with the hopes of getting to the pig later. It's going pretty good. The earthworm, it was good. We found out that earthworms have five hearts, so that's weird. And they produce carbon dioxide, so that's another thing that helped with the planet. And starfish, I found out they have like these little squishy things in the middle of them, which was weird. I'm taking AP U.S. History, and basically we've been, we've been talking about the American Revolutionary War and going over like the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, George Washington. I'm already taking AP classes at Granby because I'm in the IV program, so I feel like it would be better like if I got like a little head start for when I um, go back this school year. First and foremost, I hope they get excited about the AP class that they're going to be taking in the fall. Um, love of learning is really important, and if we can get the kids excited about, you know, a cool biology experiment or a great debate in government or a really complicated calculus problem before they walk in the door in September, they're already going to have that sense of excitement coming into the class, and that's what I'm really hoping that they get from this experience. Norfolk Public Schools welcomes special guests to its faith-based partnerships community kickoff at Norview High School. During this event, members from the faith community were able to directly connect with school staff 
and both principals and pastors alike had the opportunity to share the positive impact of their current partnerships. With approximately 200 people in attendance, hopes are high that more connections will be made between schools and the community. I feel like everything went excellent. I, I love the, um, the drum line and the cheerleaders. Everyone felt as though they were truly welcome when they came in and then, then to have an opportunity to observe everyone collaborate over lunch and just to come into the auditorium and take part in the program and hear the excitement and just to see um, how everyone just, um, the synergy in the room was just truly amazing. It was amazing. Um, the turnout shows really the, the passion that the community has to support North Public Schools and their students. Um, I know when Dr. White uh, initially asked us to, to come and speak, no problem, 20, 30 people, and then to have over 100, 150 community members coming out to support our children is just amazing. I think that MPS has to, uh, as we're coming out of the pandemic, it, this is an opportunity for us to, to, to put us on a trajectory that will really let the community know that our doors are open, that your participation uh, is important. What we do in the classroom is important, but the community, whether or not it's a business or a faith leader, that you are valued and your input and your support is an integral part to the entire success of everybody. You know, this was a dream come true. The faith community has been yearning to partner with Norfolk Public Schools, and today was the kickoff of that opportunity that we get to serve firsthand with not only the administrators, but more importantly, with the children of Norfolk Public Schools. Norfolk Public Schools partnered with the Don Carey Reach Foundation to hold a two-day summer STEAM and athletics camp at Booker T. Washington High School. This camp, which was free to any child in Norfolk ages 6 to 17, provided students with hands-on activities designed to teach them about STEM while they're having fun. We utilize sports as a hook to educate students about STEM jobs in the area. Um, you see behind us different STEM vendors within Hampton Roads that partner with us to expose our students to the possibilities that uh, could be in their futures. It's going great. We have vendors from Norfolk State. We have vendors from the Jefferson Lab. We have vendors that are able to make clouds. We have someone here that is showing the students how to take lyrics and work it with science. So we have a little bit of everything, robotics from TCC. It's a great, great time. Right now it's going beautiful. The kids are having fun. They're learning new things. Uh, everybody's smiling. Parents are helping, volunteers are helping. It's a great environment. This shows them more than just basketball or football or sports. It's science. It's art. It's, it's so many different vendors here to say, show them so much more parts of the world rather than just what's at ground level. Congressman Bobby Scott got a first-hand look at our summer meals program when he stopped by Norview Elementary in July. During his visit, he observed teaching and learning in one of our classes, explored the partnership with the recreation center next door, and headed over to the cafeteria to enjoy a school lunch with administrators and students. Well, this is good to see how the programs actually work. The people are in, in school doing constructive things, not out on the street getting in trouble. So the summer program is extremely valuable. The feeding part of the summer programs are also valuable because it means the kids will actually show up. Uh, these programs at, at this site and a thousand other sites around the state we're about to um, evaporate if we didn't pass legislation at the last minute, and I'm glad we did so that we can keep these programs going. We have students from the two schools that are coming to summer school here. We had some um, kids from the rec center come over, and we also had some um, members of the general public just joining us to eat today. So it was awesome. Every day that we get to feed kids is an awesome day. It's great to have Congressman Bobby Scott here. He's the chairman of the House Education and Labor Committee, and he's been a true champion for all of our public education, and particularly the meals program. I think the congressman got a very uh, uh, eye-opening experience to kind of see the work that he's doing on the federal level and how it's being implemented at the local school level. So I think it was very successful today. 